Hello guys! In this video we will look at explicit many-to-many -many relations in Next.js project with Prisma. We will cover how to create schema for joint table with additional metadata, seed data for the relation, fetch related records, and filter those records based on the additional metadata saved in the joint table. Let's look at the diagram. In the implicit many-to-many -many relation, join table is created by Prisma. Post tag table has an underscore to denote that. Also, Prisma created join table has only two columns, A and B, which are foreign keys for posts and tags. And that's all we get when we use implicit many-to-many -many relation. And frankly speaking, in most of the cases, it's all you need. However, in rare instances, you would like to add more fields to the join table. So let's go ahead and look at many-to-many -many explicit, because that's what you need to use. In many-to-many -many explicit relation, we're going to create join table. So we can name it whatever we want. However, we will keep the convention. We will also name foreign key columns, however we want, so we don't have to use A and B. And then we will introduce an additional metadata in the column assigned by. So let's go ahead and create schema for explicit many-to-many -many relation. Let's go in a Prisma folder, open schema.prisma, and we're going to add some more models after the tag model. So let's go ahead and create model category, right? It's going to have ID, which will be primary key integer, name, and it will have posts, which will be a category post. And again, this posts field will be Prisma field. Now we're going to have created at daytime and updated at daytime and we will call this table categories. Now, next, we're going to create a category post model for the join table. So it's going to have a post ID, then the post, which will be a Prisma relation column. But we're going to say that it references ID on model post, and the fields are post ID. Then we put category ID, which is integer, and in the same way, this will reference ID on category model. So let's also create another field, called assigned by, and this will be type of role that we're going to create in a minute, and the default will be user. Now let's create a primary key. So our join table will have a composite primary key on post ID and category ID fields. And we also call this table category underscore post. So now let's create a role, and it will be an enum, and we're going to have user, editor, and admin. And this is how you create enum in Prisma, so it corresponds to enum uh, field type in MySQL, for example. As you can see, we have an error right here because the model post doesn't have the corresponding field. So let's go ahead and create it. So let's scroll up to the post model. And we are going to add another field. And this field will be called categories. And the type will be category post. And it will be an array. All right, now our schema looks good. Let's go ahead and save the changes. Now let's go ahead and take a look how we can seed data for this relation. So let's go ahead uh, and go to seed.mjs file. Let's scroll up to find where we create the first user. And we create this user with a posts. And we already see the tags relation right here. So after the tags, let's uh, add the following code. We're going to add categories and we're going to create and assigned by will be user and the category name will be new category. Let's go ahead and see the database. But before we do that, we need to create the migration and then migrate the tables that we created. So let's go ahead and run first npm run migration create. Looks like it wants to reset the database, which is fine. So we can do yes. All right, I'm going to hit enter. So now migration is done. Now we can go ahead and run this migration, npm run migrate. And migration is applied successfully. Now let's go ahead and seed the database. So npm run seed. All right, and the data has been seeded. Let's go ahead and run npm run seed again. Now, however, migration fails because the name of the category is a unique key, so we got a unique constraint failed error. So besides the create function, there is also 
connect or create function in Prisma. This function will attempt to connect the category or create it if it doesn't exist. And this function uses a unique key. And it happens so that we define the name of the category as a unique key. So let's go ahead and update create right here to be connect or create. And the next will be where. And we're going to put name will be a new category. But actually, we're going to change that. Uh, we're going to put it as editor speak. And then now we need the second part, right? We got where. Now we need to do create. And then again, we need to put name. And this will be editor speak again. Now let's not forget to put column right here, and it looks like we're all set. And since we're naming this category as editor speaks, we're going to actually use assign by, not user, but editor. And let's go ahead and run the seeder again, npm run seed. And it looks like it failed, so uh, I think we just made a typo right here, so it needs to be the same, editor speaks, editor speaks. Let's go ahead and save it, and let's go ahead and uh, run the seed again. And now the seeder succeeded, let's do it again, just to make sure. So now we have data in our table, so let's go ahead and look at how to retrieve that data, right? So let's go ahead and close this. And first, we're going to go into types.d.ts file. Let's go to the src folder. And in this types.d.ts file, we are going to define types for category and category post. Let's go ahead and create type category. It will be ID number, name, string, and then we're going to have posts, which will be a category post array. Created at date and updated at date. And in the same way, we're going to put category post with a category ID number, post ID number, assigned by, it will be a role. And this type we're going to create in a minute. And then it's going to be category and post with a type of category and post correspondingly. And now let's go ahead and define type role that can be user, editor, or admin. And is in the same way as we created categories field on post model in Prisma schema, we need to create categories field on the type posts in here, and this type will be also category post type. So let's go ahead and right here under tags, we're going to create categories. And they will be optional, and the type will be category post, and this will be an array. Okay, everything looks good. Now let's go ahead and fetch explicit many to many relation. And doing it is a little bit trickier than fetching an implicit one. As you may notice, categories on post refers to category post, right? Right here, we are referring to category post. So in order to fetch categories for a certain post, we will need to include categories, which will give us category post right here. And now on the category post, we will also need to include a category relation to get all the categories for this post. Let's go ahead and take a look at how to do it in post repository. So let's go to repository and we here have post repository. As you can see, we already including author and tags and including tags in implicit relation was pretty easy, right? We just put tags and true. However, in explicit relation, we cannot just put categories true, right? We need to do a little more work. So we need to get categories and then include category and then it's going to be true relation from post can get on the join table and then through the join table we will fetch all the categories now let's update a single post page to include the categories so let's go ahead and go to the app folder posts id and here we have the page right here let's scroll up a little bit so right here we're fetching tags right so under the tags we're going to put the following code we're going to have another div Give it a margin top. We're going to call categories. Now we can check if post has categories. And this relation is actually on the join table, right? So now we're going to map the post categories and we'll call it category post. We'll give it an ID of category ID because it's on the join table. And now on the category post, we take property category if it exists, obviously. 
and then we can display the name of that category. This is how you can fetch categories for a single post. You can also create category repository and in the same manner define get by ID method where you can include posts and fetch posts for each category. But I will leave this exercise for you. Instead of displaying categories and fetching posts, let's uh, put to use a sign by column on the category post join table to filter posts. In the seeder, we created category uh, named editor speaks, but we're not going to use the category itself to filter um, editor speaks posts because editor can create many different categories. Instead, we're going to filter posts that are assigned to all categories that an editor created, right? So, Let's go ahead and do just that. Let's go to the posts page where we're displaying the list of posts. And you can see we have this code right here, which we are going to actually refactor, right? We're going to create a new file in a posts folder and we're going to call it posts view. And we'll put extension the TSX. And we are going to put the following code in there. So it's just simple what I had in this page. I just took it out and put it in a separate file, right? It's going to be called a post view file, have the link and pretty much everything is the same, except for we're passing parameters, we're passing view title and posts. So now on the posts page, let's go ahead and remove this code. And instead we're going to be returning the posts view right here and with the title of posts, and we're going to just pass the posts to it. So let's go ahead and do an import post view in here. And we're all set. Let's go ahead and save our changes. Now we can create editor's uh, big page, right? So in the post folder, let's create a new folder. We call it editor's pick. Now in the folder editor's pick, let's create a new file called page.csx. And in this file, we're going to put the following code. Let's take a look at it. So we're going to import post repository and a post view. We're going to create enum right here, a role. Right now, I'm just putting it in uh, editor's big page, but later on, if you're going to be using this enum in other places, you can extract it out. We're going to put uh, force dynamic, so this page is dynamic, and we're going to have function get data. Uh, and in here, we're going to have post repository, get all method, and we're going to create the following filter. We're going to say where categories and where sum assigned by role editor. So we basically are saying we would like to get posts that belong to all the categories that are assigned by editor. And then we're going to return this posts. And in the export default function page, we can actually rename it to editor speak. Uh, we're going to destruct the post and then we'll pass it to posts view with the title editor speak and the post will be post. Let's go ahead, save our changes and test the code. We're going to run npm run dev. All right. And after everything ready, let's go to the browser. And uh, in the browser right here, we can see the page. And I also added a link to editor speak uh, page. So we can go there right away. Let's go ahead and click on it. And as you can see, we have editor speak right here. So, and from all of our posts, right, we got like three that belong to those categories that are assigned by editor. So let's go ahead and click on one of the posts. And we can see this is the post and we have tags and the category is actually editor speaks. Let's go ahead and test actually if our code really works. Let's create another category for editors. So, and uh, we'll check if that post is going to show up in here. So if we're going to have more posts, let's go back to the VS code. And right here, we're going to go to the seeder. And in the seeder, right, we're going to um, call this category is not editor speaks. Let's call it top articles. And we're going to call it again right here, top articles. And we're going to open the new terminal right over here. And we're going to do npm run seed again. All right, Cedar finished running successfully. Let's go back to the browser and refresh the page. And with all the luck, we got uh, more articles in here in editor speak page. 
And this is how you can use explicit mini to many relations in Prisma in your Next.js project. As you can see, getting related records in explicit mini to mini relation is a bit trickier than in implicit one. My suggestion is to use implicit relation first. And then if you discover you need to store additional metadata in relation table itself, you can migrate to explicit many to many relation. If you would like to know how to use implicit many to many relation in Prisma, please check out this video. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.